Hey guys, welcome back to another one of Stan Boney's Video Game Reviews, Hardware Discussions, Online Gameplay, and Benchmarks. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at a new game, Avatar. Let's take a look and see what we think about it. Every time I tell him, stop sending grunts. The character models time, seem to be pretty decent. It's a DX10 game. Specialist. Yeah, same thing as far as I'm concerned. But I won't be dealing with you on You, you can choose from, uh... Problem. You disappoint him and about 20 different problem. characters to be. So I got three words for you. Don't screw up. Like I said, it's a DX10 game. It's got a lot of, uh... Adjustments in a game. It has an in-game 3D stereoscopic adjustment for 3D. And man, let me tell you, when you play this in 3D, it's out of this world. Well, this is another attempt to uh, make a game based upon a movie. So let's see what we think about it. Just because your DNA is a one in a billion match doesn't mean you can be a princess. Get moving, T. Well, now she's going into a avatar changing machine, I guess you want to call it. And what they're doing is they're going to show her what she would be like as an avatar. Well, these are the Navis, not Navi, not Navi, or whatever you want to call them. They're the inhabitants of a planet called Pandora. Whoa, it's okay, Ryder. This is normal. Sit down, and we'll send you back. Actually, quite your heart's right and you'll go far. Screw up. And this planet will spit you out like Pogi did. I'll do my best. So now they're gonna send her off to Pandora. Gather your gear and thumb a lift to the lagoon base. Time to hit the ground running. Welcome to the park, sir. The park? Yeah, Blue Lagoon. We fenced in the whole area. Big chunk of Pandora wilderness. You wanna see the planet? This is the safest place to do I'll tell you what. If you want a game with a lot of eye candy and just beautiful foliage and just beauty everywhere you look. The colors are amazing. Writer, you're just in time. We've got troops caught in the wire. They're reporting viper wolves moving on them. Viper wolves? You'll love them. You've worked a turret, right? Uh. Good. Climb the main gate and lay down. Viper wolves are the first uh, creatures that you encounter. Now, in this game, you gain XP and you can uh, use that to gain better weapons, better armor. Okay, so now I gotta go down here. You got a nice little map too, by the way, that you can bring right up to tell you where you're at. You want to have a mouse that has a sensitivity adjustment here, so when you switch into this gunner mode, you can change that so you have a little bit better accuracy. Uh, I wasn't thinking about that when I was recording. Still wasn't too bad. Now you have a fast run mode. Now you have spell you have four different perks that you get to uh, choose from. And as you gain XP, you uh, can change those perks to better perks. Right now I have like a 
hand grenade that just blows everything up. This is the run mode that you have. That's one of your perks. Now, here is what the game's about. You get to this point where you have to make a decision of who you want to be. This game is actually two games in one. Do you want to be the Navi or do you want to be the military? I chose the military. The game has built-in physics, built-in physics adjustment. Rider. Everything's on ultra settings here. We got her, Commander. We made the right choice. I'm not even sure what choice I made. This world is just absolutely spectacular. It's beautiful. The colors are just, like I said. Here, here is these. Uh, I don't even know what they're called. These type of dragons. They're a big pain in your ass, but they're beautiful. This machine, to try to fly it, it's going to take you a little time to get used to. Obviously, you can see, looks like I'm drunk driving this thing. But at this point, what you're trying to do is you're trying to blow five hives out so you can um, complete the level. The hives, are, I guess, are where these um, dragons have, have their nests. But you gotta deal with the dragons too. They'll take your they'll take your ship right down too if you're not careful. And this you can look at front and rear view of the ship, whatever you like, you can toggle that back and forth. This dragon just got caught in the blade. And you got this vehicle. You got all sorts of different vehicles, it's pretty cool. Alright, now check out the check out the detail on this um this front end loader, or whatever the hell, dump truck. Man, that looks good. This dune buggy is not very quick. It's not that good of a. See, I'm stuck here, but it's realistic. I have to back up to get out of it. Now here's a Navi that you're going to be fighting. They got rocket launchers, grenade throwers, everything. There's a lot of guns. This is already into the second level. It's going to take you about an hour, hour and a half just to get through the first level. I didn't show you much of the first level because it was a lot of the same thing. It starts to get really good in this level. I'll tell you guys, for a remake, for a, a movie, this is probably one of the better ones. I haven't seen too many good ones. I like the game a lot. It plays well. It's two games in one, so after you get done playing as the military, you can always switch back to uh, playing as the Navi. And I'll tell you, if I was to rate, rate this game, I'd give it a good four and three quarter beers, if not five. Uh, the graphics are great, and if you want to just see some pure eye candy, this game would be for you guys, man. Four and three quarter beers. Thanks for watching. Stan Boney on YouTube, and we'll see you soon. Peace.